So now, in the last video, we looked at the NPN bipolar junction transistor emitter follower, which is more common than the PNP version, which we're going to look at in this video. But whatever you can make with NPN, you can make with PNP, but polarities are opposite. So now we got the emitter. The pin layout is the same. I'm using a 2N 3906 for the PNP uh, right here. Um, emitters to the left, base in the middle. Collector to the right, you put the flat side to the left there. Then the emitters on top, base in the middle, and the collector on the bottom. So we got the emitter to the uh, positive supply right there. And um, collector to, directly to the negative supply. What this does is you can give a voltage to the base. And it doesn't depend on current from this uh, voltage source. So it's a, a signal. And it's not really a voltage source. If you try to draw current from it, it's going to throw off the voltage. It's more of a signal voltage right there. And right now it's set to uh, 5 volts. We got that pull-up resistor. Um, it's also going to make sure this is 5 volts. We're going to have to go down about 0.6 volts. But that from that point, as we lower the voltage, the emitter voltage will also lower. So if we set the uh, trim pot to 2.5 volts, we'll have about... 3.1 volts at this point uh, there and this uh, if you put like a load there it can draw some current depending on the value of that uh, resistor right there can't exceed how much uh, current the resistor will let through um, but um, you know it's better to use this as a signal for something else um, if you want to power a load then it's best to have it come from the positive supply and then the uh, transistor there will regulate the current going through it but we're not going to dwell on that in this video so now of course voltage is what matters so we're going to set the meter to measure voltage it's auto ranging i just have to set it to v make sure it does the rest i don't have to move the red probe for anything other than high current with this particular meter right there and uh, so all you got to do is make sure you don't exceed the limitations of the component i think this can handle up to 600 uh, volts or whatever we're far away from the maximum so in any case i got the power supply set to five volts made sure it was on and uh, it was off earlier but uh didn't uh, really matter then so now we're going to measure the voltages so the voltages we're interested in are uh, in relationship to ground for this particular um circuit right here so i have the trim pot set to five volts of course um that's what the uh, collector is going to be right there uh, five volts and uh, that one's also 5 volts. We have to uh, lower the collector voltage before we will lower the base uh, voltage, I mean, before the collector voltage will lower. So I'm going to shoot for, I don't know, that, that might be, let's try like 4 volts or so right there. And uh, first we will measure that voltage at uh, the base, wherever something connects to the trim pot base. So we got about 3.8. So... The uh, emitter voltage, it's headed to the positive supply. So it's going to be approximately 0.6 volts higher, approximately. So we can expect about 4.4 volts at uh, the collector. And uh, there you can see, it's 4.4 uh, volts right there. We're not going to get exact voltages here. It's going to be approximate. And uh, so on. So, yeah, we go like halfway. Uh, let's go down. Let's go to the other uh, bit of it. Wait, so that might be 2 volts right there. Let's uh, see, okay, one point, uh, almost 1.6, but we'll say 1.5, add uh, 0.6 to that. Should be about 2.1 at the emitter over there. 2.2, you know, close enough, uh, right there. So, looks like a spec more than uh, 0.6 uh, volts. Looks like it's going up maybe 0.65 or so, 6, 7, something like that. So, it is basically a voltage follower but the voltage doesn't follow exactly like it would with an op amp that's wired as a voltage follower instead we have an emitter to deal with and uh, since it's the pnp it's going to be a slightly higher voltage about six volts approximately at uh, the emitter versus the base right there so it's an emitter follower and you can also call it a common collector uh, that's because the collector is directly to the supply right there and to uh, end this, I will show a you know somewhat practical demonstration right here. We got an LED right there. Of course, it's coming from the positive supply right there. So the higher the emitter voltage, the less voltage difference. You got no voltage difference right now. LED is not going to light up. We actually have to lower the trim pot voltage in order to lower the emitter voltage and therefore get the LED to light up right there so it's uh working the opposite way as if you were using an npn bipolar junction transistor but that's a very important thing to understand you see all kinds of npn bipolar junction transistor 
uh, demonstration circuits of, of all kinds. You can find schematics pretty easily. You don't find them uh, near as often with the PNP bipolar junction transistor. So it's good practice to be able to take what you know from the NPN bipolar junction transistor and make PNP versions with it. So in any case, that's it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.